Fighting squad. Honk! Have you anything to say? Have you anything to say? No, General. You know that failure cannot be tolerated. Yes, General. You have failed and must pay the price. Firing squad, at the lady. Take aim. Fire! If you work for me, success is amply rewarded. But fail and you will suffer the same fate as the wretch you have just seen executed. <laughs> There's someone to see you. Dad! Yes, dear? There's a lady upstairs to see you. A lady? Who is she? Oh, Miss something. She's a reporter. Oh, yes, Miss Davis from that American magazine. She's doing a series on old English houses and thinks the cottage will be of interest to her readers. What's she like? Oh, she's just a lady. Oh, pretty, plain, old, young. Quite old. About 25, I think. <laughs> 25? Yes, that must seem pretty old to you, Joe. Well, come on, let's go and talk to her. It shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. I'm sure our readers will be surprised and pleased to hear that this cottage is over 150 years old. Well, one more question, Professor. All right. One last question. Oh, I didn't realize. I've been here nearly an hour. I must apologize. It's all right. Well, now, let's see. Ah, yes. What is your favorite color? Color? Yes, women love to know these things. My favorite color? Let me see. You always said you liked blue, Dad. Did I? Oh, so I did. Yeah, yes. Yes, blue. Blue. Marvelous. Well, Professor McLean, it's been a pleasure meeting you. My pleasure, my pleasure. Uh, the uh, door, Joe. And thank you again for giving me so much of your most valuable time. Yes. Well, uh... This really is a beautiful home. Sweet boy. I'm only sorry we couldn't talk in a little more detail about your work. Uh, it's pretty dull. Dull, Professor. I read your paper on the miniaturization of computers for space and thought it absolutely marvelous. Well, to the general public, it's still pretty dull, but you read it. 
Yes, in fact, I disagree with practically everything you said. Oh, you disagree? Yes, Professor. If we had time, I could explain my reasons. Uh, please, Miss Davis, uh, come sit down. You've aroused my curiosity. Here's the report on the Coburn affair, sir. Good. Well, it, uh, it took a big rat to catch a big rat. <laughs> Get it? Yes, Chief. Very clever. Uh, good. <clears throat> well, let's see. About this trip. Yes, sir. I should be away about two weeks. Can Kelly fill in for you? Oh, yes. There's nothing important in this sector at the moment. He can handle it. Uh, except Joe Knighty. Yes, we can't give that to Kelly. No one outside the original form must know about that setup. I'll take it over. Right, sir. See you in a couple of weeks. It's a wonderful evening, Mac. Thank you. It's my pleasure, Miss Dick. Ah, Angela. Sorry, Angela. I don't get out much these days, but I must admit, it's very enjoyable. Well, we'll have to do this more often. Yes, I think you're right. Let's drink to it. Of course. To us. <sighs> to us. How do I look, Joe? Fine, Dad. Mrs. Harris is coming up from the village in about an hour. She'll give you a dinner. Yes, Dad. Anything wrong, Joe? No. Good. Well, I must be going. Do you like Miss Davis, Dad? Well, uh, why do you ask? You saw her three times last week. She's a very interesting woman, Joe. And uh, she really does know about electronics. Yes, uh, yes, I like her. Listen. Joe, I'm free tomorrow afternoon. Why don't we go fishing? Fishing? Can we really? Of course. We'll take a few sandwiches and stay out all afternoon. Great. Well, I must go. Goodbye, Joe. Bye, Dad. Enjoy yourself. Thanks, Joe. I can hardly believe it, Chief. It's just not like him. Well, there it is in black and white. Last Monday, dinner at the Region Hotel. Tuesday, the opera. Thursday was a lecture but supper afterwards. What a thing to come back to. Have you tackled him about it? Professor McLean is vital to our organization. That's why we have a C-14 constant surveillance tag on him. He's done nothing to endanger security so far, but I'm worried. And what do you want me to do, Chief? You're a personal friend. Go down and see him, talk to him, explain things. Well, it won't be easy, but I'll try. <laughs> Hi, Mac. Why, Sam. How was the trip? Oh, uh, fine. Yeah. How are you keeping? Oh, mustn't grumble. Nice day. Beautiful. Uh, look, Mac, uh, I can't head you around. I came down to talk about Angela Davis. I see. Well, what about her? Well, you've been seeing her quite a bit lately. She's even been to the cottage a couple of times. Just what are you getting at, Sam? All right, Mac, I'll give it to you straight. She's a potential security risk. Are you telling me to stop seeing her? Now look, think about it, Mac. The big rat has proved its value to world intelligence. It's more important than any individual. Now, you listen, Sam. What I do in my private life is my concern. Neither you, nor world intelligence, or anyone else, for that matter, is going to tell me what to do. Now, wait a minute, Mac. Just wait. Angela Davis is an intelligent, attractive woman. And I intend to see her as often as I like. 
Mac, wait. Mac! Hey, come back here! <sighs> Obstinate old buzzard. Why, Joe, how long have you been there, Joe? I didn't mean to listen, Uncle Sam. I couldn't help it. Uh, that's all right. What do you think about Angela Davis, Joe? I don't like her. She's too smooth. Yes, I'm beginning to have my suspicions about Miss Davis. Do you know when your father's seeing her again? She's coming down tonight to stay at the cottage over the weekend. Then I think it's time for a little action, Joe. your work, Mac. What are you doing at the moment? Hmm? Oh, thinking about a book, this and that. Don't you have any important projects underway? Something on a large scale? On a large scale? Yes, uh, something big. Big? No, 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 nothing like that. I want to relax this evening. Let's forget about work. All righty, let's talk about something else. Your hobbies. You like fishing, don't you? Blast. What's wrong, Mac? Oh, nothing. It's, it's just that I promised to take Joe fishing this afternoon. I forgot all about it. Oh, never mind. Joe's a sweet child, but he's young. He has his whole life before him. You should think of yourself a little more. I suppose you're right. You know I'm right. You should think of your future, Mac. Our future. Come on, Mac. Let's take our coffee into the lounge and relax. Right, Joe, the recording's complete. Now let's try and find out what's going on. Okay, Uncle Sam. I'm ready. More coffee, Mac? Please. Okay, you now have the brain pattern of Angela Davis, Joe. Now think carefully and tell me what she really plans to do. Well, let's see. She's not working alone. There are two men, Carlson and Andrews. All right, it's time. There was nothing in the cottage. No, but she's found some sort of underground laboratory. And that's where we may find something of interest. Yeah. She should just about be going down in the elevator now.
pull over and stop. We can see the cottage from here. She has eight minutes. I thought I saw a light upstairs in the cottage. I didn't see anything. Relax. Everything's been planned to the second. Now. She should have signaled. Something must be wrong. Five seconds. Look. Everything is going according to plan. I see. Well, remember, I want results. Right. Right, but do not expect mercy if you fail. Very interesting. It seems to be a remarkable piece of apparatus. We thought you'd recognize its uh, value, General. Of course. The usual arrangements. Gold. Gold. Some people will do anything for it. Are you absolutely certain this is what they plan to do, Joe? Yes, Uncle Sam. The story I've just told you is how I imagine it could happen. There's no doubt about it. Angela Davis intends to steal the plans of the big rat. We've got to stop her. We'll tell Mac everything. How he recorded her brain pattern and transferred it to you, and so discovered the whole plan. Uncle Sam? Yes, Joe? If you told Dad the whole story, it would... Well... You mean, break his heart? Yes. Look, I've got an idea. Let me try my way first. All right, Joe. You've got your chance. <laughs> Joe, where have you been? Hello, Miss Davis. Your father's out trying to find you. He's very worried. I think you ought to be ashamed of yourself. That's not all you think, Miss Davis. What do you mean? You think I'm a brat. But I've An never... obstacle between you and Mac. Well, I've never Saw even... Saw two friends of yours today. Andrews and Carlson. How do you... Know about them. Who told you? No one. I know everything. Think of a number. What? 186. Think of a country. I don't understand. Australia. 
Your favourite colour is red and you hate mice. Oh, it's a trick. What are you, some sort of devil? No, I've recorded your brain patterns and transferred them to myself. Impossible. I know your every thought. I know why you came here. Oh, I, I really don't feel you well. You don't stand a chance. This is unbelievable. You're an agent. You came here to steal my father's ideas. I know all about the general. The general? Remember the jungle? The waiting in the courtyard? No. The sound of the firing squad? Failure cannot be tolerated. Stop. All right. You win. What do you want? I want you to go away. Please, Angela. Please don't cry. I'm... I'm sorry, Mac. This is the hardest decision I've, I've ever had to make. You're so sweet, Mac. Just tell me. Well, I've decided to go away. I knew in my heart it would never work. You're set in your ways, Mac, and you're happy here with Joe. It will be fine for a while, but then you... you might begin to regret it. I can't bear the thought of that happening. I see. Isn't there anything I can say? No, Mac, no. I must go. I'm sorry. Well, I won't try to change your mind. I respect your decision. Thank you. I'll drive you to the station. Miss Davis? Yes? I'm Sam Louver, World Intelligence. Look, I don't want a bodyguard. It will only attract attention. Please leave me alone. I'm here to arrest you. What? But I was guaranteed safety. Where you're going, you'll be perfectly safe for a long, long time. This is nice, Joe. A fire always makes it cosy, Dad. Yeah. You know, Joe, life is a great teacher. What do you mean, Dad? Well, I've learned over the years to judge people. And I'm glad my instinct didn't let me down. You mean about Miss Davis, Dad? Yes, Joe. The moment I met her, I thought I sensed an inner integrity. And events proved me right. Yes, Dad. Well, she's gone now, Joe. But she did it for us. Gives you a sort of warm glow. I know, Dad. Put another log on a fire, Joe. Mmm. 